My insurance sucks. <laughs> that is the opening state. My insurance sucks. I, I just, I don't know. I just want my insurance to stop screwing around and just get me my testing and get me my medication. That's what it's for. That's the whole purpose of insurance and I'm paying for it and I'm not getting the benefits. And it's just getting to be so frustrating. Um, they've been messing up my insurance. I've been able to pick up the medication for about a week. So I've been out of my flex roll for about a week. Um, I've been taking about half of my gabapentin, which is a nerve pain medication. And um, as of this morning, I'm out of my antidepressant. So, so I am very frustrated and not feeling well. Uh, my insurance is still messed up. I keep hearing different things. Originally, they were saying that uh, that um, it just needed the new payments, had to get updated in the system. Uh, now there's then someone else said that I was missing a payment. And I needed to make another payment, and then the last two people I spoke to said, "No, you're current on your payments." So just got off the phone with the customer service representative from my um, pharmacy benefit division of my insurance and it sounds like it is a technical error and they are working to fix it and they said that it should be um, my payment should be updated in the system hopefully by today but at the latest tomorrow so I'm guessing tomorrow and we are at if you can see it come on yep one hour and 27 minutes and pretty much have gotten nowhere. I told them that I spoke to, I think, two different people last week who told me that they would be uh, having a, com uh, a supervisor contact me within like 48 to 72 hours. And he said, yes, I see on the file that they're supposed to call and I don't know why they didn't. So, basically, um, since it is February now, February 7th, since about probably November, um, I've been needing to get an MRI. They keep denying it. And the re they say, when I ask them why, they say it's because you've already had an MRI recently. And I've told them no. And I've been telling them that since November. Basically what they say is, oh, well, we'll flag this file, we'll send it to our supervisors, and they will contact you. And that never happened. As of January 1st, uh, they... Uh, have begun uh, not letting me have my uh, pharmacy benefits. When I go to pick up my medication, um, it's denied. And so I've been paying out of pocket for most of my medications for about a month, um, the ones that I can afford anyway. There were a few that I actually, there's one that I stopped completely, um, which is one that you shouldn't really stop suddenly, but I did because I had to. So I stopped that. I also started taking half doses of other things or skipping days, you know, just trying to make the medication last longer because I couldn't, I can't afford all of it. I uh, filed a grievance against them with their company, but also with um, the uh, state insurance regulation board or whatever they're called. So I filed two gr grievances. And I believe it was either by the end of the day or the very next day, I finally got a call from an actual supervisor. Even though, you know, for a month, I've been asking to speak to a supervisor and not get, not gotten one. So, finally got a supervisor on the phone, and he said the same thing that they all said, which was, your MRI is denied because you already had an MRI recently. And I said, no, I did not. And he kind of stopped, and he was like, um, okay. I'm like, no, I didn't get one. Uh, you guys need to figure out, uh, you know, why that's in my file because I didn't have one. And he sort of glossed over it and said, okay, we'll look into that. And I said, okay. Um, the other thing when I was speaking with the supervisor, I explained to him that um, I'm still not able to get my medication. And he said, okay, when you want your medication, call us in the morning. And we, you know, and we will call the pharmacy and talk to them. Which, one, is bullshit. There's absolutely no reason I should have do that. That's ridiculous. I've never had any insurance company where you had to do that. Um, call them every single time you need a refill of a medication that they've already approved. It's just ridiculous. Um, and two, uh, they actually told me to do that before. Um, I had someone, I guess about the second week of January, who said, okay, 
which pharmacy do you have? And she took the address and phone number of my pharmacy and told them, okay, and told me that we will be contacting them tomorrow and you'll be able to get your medication. And when I called that pharmacy the next afternoon, um, I still couldn't get my meds and I asked them, specifically asked them, is someone from my insurance company I've called and spoken to them? They said no. So it never happened. I actually went back over my call logs uh, through my uh, cell phone provider and just uh, counted how many times I called them and how much time I spent on the phone. In one month, you know, just January, January 3rd to uh, February 3rd, one month, I called them 26 times and spent 640 minutes on the phone with them. That is 10 and a half hours. 10 and a half hours and they couldn't figure out shit. And they didn't even bother until I filed a grievance against them. And to me, that is just mind boggling. I, I, I just, I can't believe it. It's absolutely ridiculous. I, uh, sick like me.